Are you ready to open up to your sensuous self? I'm Dr. Jen Landa, the MD Sexpert. I'm an OBGYN, author of the Sex Drive Solution for Women, Chief Medical Officer of BodyLogic MD, and creator of the Rewire Your Desire program to help women with low sex drive get the passion back in their lives. This is the third video in my three-part series designed to help you rekindle your sexual flames and keep them alive forever. I've been so excited to have the opportunity over the course of my medical career to help women who've lost their sexual desire. I have developed programs in my office and now programs online to help you return to passion. In my last video, I explained easy practices for balancing your hormones naturally. I'm hoping you put them into practice or are planning to. I'd love to hear about your experiences. I also want to thank you so much for all of the comments and questions. I want to answer some of these questions today. After I answer your questions, I want to share with you the key needle movers that will spark up your sex drive and really get you into high gear. One question I've gotten quite a few times is, when am I going to find the time to do all of this? Here's what I want you to remember. The practices I'm sharing with you can be easily integrated into your lifestyle, spending a few pleasurable minutes each day. What you're learning is a new way to think about how you, as a woman, respond through sexual desire. It's easy and it's fun, and it'll make the rest of your day so much more enjoyable. Practicing passion can be as simple and as automatic as brushing your teeth. If you're concerned that you don't have enough mommy and daddy time, one great idea is a kid swap. Find a friend who has kids and agree that on one weekend night you're going to take their kids and on another weekend night they're going to take your kids. That's when you get what I like to call naked time. You and your lover get to roam the house like you did before you had kids. My husband and I love these times together. Another question I've been asked is, what if I don't feel thin enough or sexy enough or beautiful enough? If your concern is that your partner won't enjoy sex with you, that's probably far from the truth. Let's get real here. Sure, there's always room for improvement, but that's not going to stop anyone from enjoying sex tonight. Forget all of those images you see in the magazines. They're airbrushed like crazy, and they can drive us crazy. Here's what I want you to do. Pick your best feature and play it up. Maybe it's your breasts. Get some lingerie with a plunging neckline. Or maybe you've got a great butt, so get a great pair of boy shorts that play up your booty. The point is, play up the parts that you love, and that's going to give you attitude. And trust me, your man's attention will go where you send it if you've got the right attitude. Now I want to tell you about the key needle movers that'll bring your sex drive back. These practices take everything that I've shown you so far and puts them all together. The first key needle mover is timing. I've got several great tips that may cause you to have a new approach to timing. My first tip is morning sex. Your testosterone, the hormone of desire, is highest in the morning. Don't miss this window of love. A lot of people aren't into the idea of having sex in the morning, but it's because they don't know enough about how it can get your hormones flowing and charge up your day. My next timing tip is sex after a workout. After a workout is an amazing time to have sex with your partner. A lot of things get fired up after a workout, especially your levels of testosterone, dopamine, and a chemical called beta endorphins. Even if you're not in the mood, try sex after a workout so you can get a sense of how it feels to have sex when your testosterone levels are high. It's going to increase your sensitivity. My last timing tip is called sneaking in a nooner. You heard me right. This one is gold, I'm telling you. It doesn't have to be exactly noon, but lunchtime, midday break, whatever it is. I give the nooner tip to all of my patients, and one of my patients came back and she told me a great story. She had a package sent to her husband at work, and when he opened it, out fell a hotel card key and an invitation from his wife to meet her at a nearby hotel. She was so excited after that. It totally sparked up their sense of adventure, passion, and fun. And he was so shocked and flattered. She was glowing about it for days afterwards. Try these timing practices as soon and as often as you can. Morning sex, sex after a workout, 
and try a nooner. You'll be amazed at how bonded you feel to your man after a few of these and how you'll be looking forward to the next time. Adventure, challenge, and novelty is the next needle mover I want to tell you about. If I asked you to eat your favorite food or watch your favorite movie even three times a week, every week for the rest of your life, or even really for just a year, you get pretty bored, right? How can sparks fly when you're doing the same thing with the same person time after time after time? So this key needle mover is about trying to enrich your experiences together through adventure, challenge, and novelty. Get out and do something different. Shake things up, try something new. Get excited about life together. One of the best examples I have of this is the show The Bachelor. One of the things they do in that show is they put The Bachelor and The Bachelorette into crazy situations together where they can challenge their fears or have a wild new adventure. And every time afterwards, the couple says that they feel closer after that experience. The producers of this show know that the adventure activities that they're selecting will cause spikes in the couple's feel-good hormones and brain chemicals. And now you know it too. So go on an adventure together and see what happens for you and your partner. Some of my favorites are travel, hiking, biking, dancing, take up a new hobby together, could be crazy things like bungee jumping, skydiving, or just learn something new, take a cooking class. The idea is to create the adventure and challenge that brings you the intimacy and the charge. You know the charge, that little spark between you that creates sexual tension. Now, add a dash of novelty to the mix. Go from anywhere from mild to wild. It's healthy and fun. Try living out a fantasy together. Role play, explore erotica, take a bubble bath, trade massages, buy a new vibrator, investigate sex toys together. When you experiment with novelty, I've got a great recommendation. Extra virgin coconut oil is my favorite sexy tropical secret. Use it as a natural vaginal lubricant. I prefer it to the water-based lubricants because those get all balled up and dry up on you. And I prefer to the silicone-based lubricants because those are artificial. Toxins and chemicals are one of my biggest health concerns about the silicone-based lubricants. Extra virgin coconut oil smells great, it tastes great, it's the perfect lubricant. And you can get it in any natural food store. Adventure, challenge, and novelty are essential ingredients for a happy, passionate relationship. They'll make you look forward to the next time, the sexual tension and the big O with your man. This is the final needle mover, the one that puts everything we've learned together so far. When you practice this needle mover, you get to practice everything that I've already taught you. It's easy and it's fun. It takes just a short time and it creates a special intimate bond. In this practice, you'll engage your senses, practice mindfulness, become sexually receptive, decrease your cortisol, increase your testosterone, increase your oxytocin, be creative and adventurous and do something novel. The last key needle mover is taking the time for date nights. Aim for two date nights every month, just the two of you alone together. Date nights give both partners time together so your passions can grow. Be playful, feel sexy, enjoy beauty together. When you have a date night, start by flirting via text or email to build up the anticipation. Make special preparations for your date night, like maybe a bikini wax or getting your hair done. Prepare for your date like you would have in the old days when you were first dating. Make sure you have several hours blocked out on your date night so you have time to let your passions grow. Make sure to do something new or novel on every date night. Be adventurous, be risque. Try working out before your date night. See how sex feels when you're flooded with testosterone. During your date night, make sure to use your mindfulness techniques. Stay present in the wave of the moment. Talk about sexy things, not the same old things. Scheduling sex on a date night might sound structured or boring, but for those of us with busy lives, if we don't schedule time to be intimate, it just may not happen. Of course you can have sex on other nights, but it's nice to know that you have intimate time scheduled to be on the calendar where you can be leisurely and take time to really enjoy each other. 
You can have lots of fun with this, with all the practices I've taught you. Let yourself enjoy them. Thank you for joining me. I've shared these 11 passion practices with you to help you bring your desire back. Every woman should have her desire. It's a treasure and a rich way of sharing intimacy. I have loved having you on this journey. Your questions and comments were wonderful. I encourage you to post more. Share this video with your partner and your friends. If you'd like to get deeper with this information, really take your sex life to the next level, go ahead and click the big yellow button below this video. This is Dr. Jen wishing you the best of great health, great happiness, and of course, great sex. Go ahead and click that button now and look forward to a life filled with passion.